Hi students, after the introductory video about enzyme, today in this video I will tell you about a very important phenomenon of enzyme which is actually the catalytic cycle of the enzyme. Now what is this catalytic cycle? This catalytic cycle is a cycle where we can have an overview of the mechanism of action of a particular enzyme that means what that means how an enzyme can work we can have an overview see at first this is a kind of active enzyme now what is an active enzyme this active enzyme is a kind of enzyme which is actually can, actually can do the catalytic activity okay now for our convenience, I am not drawing any kind of uh, any kind of cofactor attached with it. We must assume that in this case, this is an active enzyme and it has its own cofactor and all those things. Now, this is a free enzyme. This is the first step. At first, the enzyme is free. After that, what happened? The substrate, which is very much specific for this particular enzyme, will diffuse and will bind to it okay now they will form the enzyme substrate and after the binding of the substrate to this particular enzyme the substrate induce some alteration of the shape of the enzyme why this alteration of the shape of the enzyme is important so that so that the enzymes active site and the substrate will come at a very close proximity so at first there is free enzyme then what happened the substrate will bind to the enzyme then as a result of the binding of the substrate to the enzyme there is a shape alteration and as a result of the shape alteration what will happen the enzyme structure will have a change and as a result of that the substrate will come at very close proximity to the active site of the particular enzyme and now they will form a structure which is known as enzyme substrate complex now as a result of the close proximation between the active sites of the enzyme as well as the substrate what will happen the enzyme will have its own catalytic reaction and then the enzyme catalyze the reaction to form the product from the substrate and then what will happen the enzyme will form a product and initially the product will remain associated with the enzyme and will form enzyme product complex in this case we can see the enzyme substrate complex in this case now in between them they will form the product through the chemical uh, activity or uh, through the chemical reaction they will form the product and the pro product will remain associated with the enzyme and form enzyme product complex within uh, within a few uh, within a few uh, time what will happen the what will happen basically this product will be dissociated or the product will be released from the enzyme and again the enzyme will be free so basically what will happen for from the first case this was the first step what was the first step the first step was that to the enzyme which is active and which is free the substrate is bound then because of the bound by bounding binding of the substrate what will happen there is a change in the enzyme and the substrate uh, and uh, change in the enzyme structure and they will form enzyme substrate complex from the enzyme substrate complex what will happen there will be a chemical reaction and enzyme product complex will form then the product will be released again the enzyme will be uh, free and this kind of reaction will follow now we can we can we can uh, we can uh, we can put the whole overview or whole uh, whole working of this particular enzyme in a in a in a uh, equation like enzyme bind with the substrate and they will form the enzyme substrate complex then the enzyme product complex will form through the chemical reaction then the product will be released again the enzyme will be free and here this is the case the substrate will form into the product with the help of enzyme this is the whole reaction now here another important thing is in this case is that when the free enzyme bound with the substrate they will form enzyme substrate complex and then there is some changes occur in the particular substrate and this particular change this change portion of the particular substrate is known as a transition state of the substrate so this is the substrate then it will come to the transition state then it will form to the, from the product see 
this is the substrate they will form in the uh, they will uh, come in the transition state and then they will form the product this is the case of transition from substrate to transition state then they will form the product now the uh, what, what what is uh, what is found till, till now it is found till now that there can be more than one transition state and this trans and uh, there is a very important thermodynamical link to this substrate transition state and the product what is that that the transition state will have the highest potential energy product will have the po lowest potential energy and substrate will have the uh, intermediate kind of potential energy so to do a particular reaction the substrate my may, may or substrate must have the um, ability to gain higher energy as equal to the transition state and that particular change in the energy is actually known as the activation energy so activation energy is what activation energy is nothing but the energy difference between the potential energy between the transition state and the pot and the intermediate state now you must thinking what what is the uh, what is the potential energy potential energy is nothing but energy change during a chemical reaction so we can see that free enzyme free enzyme bind, bind, bind with the substrate then the substrate will have a, have a kind of change and they will form a transition state of itself then they will product will from uh, form the product okay now from the substrate to the transition state then to the product now this transit they have a thermodynamical link as i have told you the transition state has the highest the potential energy product will have the lowest and the intermediate uh, kind of potential energy will be uh, for uh, the substrate that's it now the potential energy is what the potential energy is nothing but the energy change during a kind of chemical reaction and what is the activation energy activation energy is the energy difference between what between the transition state and the substrate so activation energy is the also the kind of energy is also the energy uh, which uh, which a particular substrate might must have to do a kind of reaction thank you